book. I see for you. Uh-huh. If you could have one book mm -hmm. ordered from Book Outlet today, what would it be? Well, you have to let me look through. <laughs> Why, are you ordering stuff? I might. What are you ordering? I can tell you. What the heck? <laughs> Is it for me or for you? So much pressure. <laughs> you have to put it You alright? No. It's a lot of pressure. I know. Why, you have one picked out and I'm no, supposed to say no, it? No, 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 no. <laughs> Why are you making, is it like a free shipping kind of thing? No. What is happening? <laughs> I'm just, I, I, know, just asked you. I just asked you. What? This is like Christmas in January. Why are you questioning because me? Because I'm confused with why you're letting me get a book. Is this a bribe? <laughs> Will you clean the sink? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and I'm here with the coffee book tag. Which combines my two favorite things, coffee and books, put together equals happiness. The tag was created by Bangini Bang, so I will leave his video down below. There's a total of eight questions that I'm supposed to be answering, so without further ado, let us get started. The first question is Black, name a series that is hard to get into but has hardcore fans. I'm going with The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. I've wanted to read this book for so long now, but do you see how big it is? Do you see how big it is? But the fans for this book are so diehard and I want to know what all the hype is, but it's so scary to pick up because it's huge and there's seven books. And they're all huge. Like, it's not like one of them is, like, huge, and the rest of them are like, okay? They're all ginormous, and it's scary. Question number two is Peppermint Mocha, and it is name a book that gets more popular during the winter or festive season, and I'm going with Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling. I have not read this book, but everybody says that Harry Potter is the answer to this question, so that's what we're going with, because I couldn't think of one. That is actually really popular, other than My True Love Gave to Me, because that's, like, the biggest wintery book ever, but I don't own it, so Harry Potter, because everyone else says Harry Potter. So Harry Potter. Question number three is Hot Chocolate, what is your favorite children's book? And I'm going with the Pixie Tricks series by Tracy West. I absolutely loved these books when I was little. They are absolutely amazing. I don't know if they still, like, sell them, but I was obsessed with these. I was either going to go with this or Naughty from Toyland or Winnie the Pooh, but this one is the one that really sticks in my head when I think of childhood. And I mean, like, you get to write in the back of the books, which when you are, like, five, is a super big deal because you are not allowed to write in books. It's a rule. But you could in these. They were meant to be written in. And it was exciting. Question number four is Double Shot of Espresso, a book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I'm going with The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I have a review of this up. Shameless permission. Go watch it. There's a card right there. There you go. I absolutely love this book. Gave it a four out of five stars on Goodreads. It was so entertaining. Read the book. Let's read the book. Question number five is Starbucks. Name a book that you see everywhere. The Duff by Cody Kuplinger, probably only because it's my favorite book, so anytime I see it, I freak out and it's memorable. It's not the best book. It's definitely not the best movie, but it holds a special spot in my heart. Question number six is That Hipster Coffee Shop, and it is give a shout out to an indie author, and I'm going with Lily Paradis. This is her book ignite i read it last year i have a review there's a card click it more shameless promotion i gave it three out of five stars on goodreads it's a pretty good book i had my problems with it watched the review to know what i thought and all that jazz but it was good and i liked it so shout out to lily paradis question number seven is oops i accidentally got decaf which is like the worst situation ever just saying and it is to name a book that you expected more from i'm going with point of retreat by colleen hoover because i absolutely love slammed so i was expecting a lot from point of retreat i definitely did not like it as much as slammed i think i gave slam four out of five stars and i gave point of retreat three out of five stars but I was going to give it two. The only reason I gave it three was because of the poetry. I have a review of this and Slam, so... More shameless promotion! Click the card. Thanks. Ha. And the final question, question number eight, is The Perfect Blend, and it is to name a book series that is both bitter and sweet, but ultimately satisfying. And I am going with Divergent by Veronica Roth. I absolutely loved the first two books, and then Allegiant. You left me unhappy. You broke my heart. Why, Veronica? But ultimately... I love the series as a whole, and therefore, satisfying. Alright guys, so that was the coffee book tag. I'll leave who I'm tagging down below. Hint, hint, it is you. Do the tag because coffee. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Want a piece of chocolate from PJ Ferguson? Sure. Thank you, PJ. Thank you, PJ. <laughs> Question number three is, I forgot the name of the coffee that's related. <laughs> it's hot chocolate, which is not coffee. Why is this in the coffee book tag? I don't know. Maybe you put a little espresso in there, whatever. Do 